Support. The Maestro, please! Okay, things have finally picked up. Not in terms of breadth of genre, but we have more than three albums to talk about this time. This will be for the week of... On this day in music back in 1963, Ring of Fire by Johnny Cash would be released. Written by Meryl Kilgore and oddly enough, Johnny Cash's eventual second wife, June Carter. The song was originally titled Love's Ring of Fire and was recorded by June's sister, Anita Carter, on her folk song's old and new album back in 1962. <laughs> Classical music has really been sleeping lately, and that's funny because the last classical thing we did was that World Sleep Day 2024 compilation. Don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing. Haven't had a new jazz album since the end of February. Singing, I love rock and roll. Oh, I forgot to be your lover. Album number 12 from the Black Keys, a couple of highlights, Paper Crown, featuring both Beck and Juicy J, and the second single from this album, I Forgot To Be Your Lover, or Just To Be A Lover, if you go by the 1968 original version of the song by William Bell, or if you go by the 1986 version that was done by Billy Idol. It's First commercial mixtape from Glorilla, her first mixtape most likely up next, was self-released, but obviously this one is on CMG and Interscope. I'ma take a bougie ass to Rodeo and then let her pick up whatever she want. CC Gucci, Hibbo, take up whatever she want. Album number four, after almost four years of waiting since 2020's anniversary. Oddly enough, he's also included whatever she wants as a bonus track that was originally on volume two of Slum Tiller, which was his mixtape series focusing on Detroit rap. Light work, like it's PWC, it's a cold world, keep the heat under your seat, I got a phone call, they say that's- Mixtape number four from J. Cole, and yes, seven minute drill, J. Cole's response to Kendrick Lamar's diss track on Like That, which we talked about literally last week on We Don't Trust You with Future and Metro Boomin, again, was originally on here, but has now been taken off for, well, reasons that are best said by J. Cole himself. <laughs> To be fair, March only gave us one dance or an electronic album to talk about, and April does have one more week to hopefully give us one. And now I need some help for the maestro, please! I know that last night we let the liquor talk, I can't remember everything we said. Oddly enough, he has released an eighth single from this album, uh, Cowgirls. We don't trust you, we don't trust you, no, no, no. Speaking of the track like that, it actually has a bunch of samples in it. Everlasting Bass by Rodney O and Joe Cooley, Who the Crunkest by Tear to Club Up Thugs and Project Pat, and Easy Does It by Easy E. Sixth Korean EP from Tomorrow X Together, obviously the third in their mini sewed series. There is a version that has two additional Deja Vu remixes, given it's just a sped up version and a slowed down version. The slowed down version has some reverb on it. A highlight, at least for me personally on here, is the number two track, which is seven seconds long and is in Morse code, which actually translates to tomorrow. Light work, like it's PWC, it's a cold world, keep the heat under your seat, I got a phone call, they say that's- I will say, despite 7 Minute Drill being removed from most streaming platforms, I'm obviously still able to play it now, cause you can find it pretty much anywhere else on the internet. This ain't Texas, Ooh. ain't no hold'em, hey. so lay our cards down. Just like her previous album, there's a bunch of samples and interpolations scattered throughout the album. Given the diversity of samples and interpolations, it's much wider in this one. We got stuff from her obviously husband Jay-Z, The Beatles, Buffalo Springfield, Chuck Berry, Roy Hamilton, the Jolene cover by Dolly Parton, Fleetwood Mac, The Beach Boys, Nancy Sinatra, and even in the track Daughter, there are elements of Joseph Boulogne's Chevalier de Saint George's Violin Concerto in D Major. There we go, a bigger week in music, given the real question on every everyone's mind is how long is it going to take until we talk about Taylor Swift's new album that just came out. Honestly, we might even talk about it next week, and obviously we're going to talk about it for multiple months thereafter as well. And now I need some help out of my stove, please! My stove! My stove! My stove! My stove! My stove! My stove, please! My stove!